Hello guys, welcome back. Today we'll be talking about these files and this gun made by 3D Workbench and about the Furling Tech PLA filament. So Furling Technologies contacted me and asked if I want to check out their filament with the furling slider and of course I said yes after doing a little bit of research about this company. So it seems like the company is based in Australia but also has uh, severe links to China and they had in about January to February a Kickstarter campaign about their filament and their spool and their slider which is on the spool. The main concept of this spool and slider is to provide a tangle free solution for your filament and as you can see it kind of works well not kind of it actually works the end of the spool and filament is loose and only um, in the furling slider and it just holds like this you don't have to put the end into the spool itself well, this is quite the opposite of the master spool concept because the spools are very small. It only has 320 grams of material. So they actually have a new kind of small spool and an additional part, this slider part, which is a separate injection molded part. To assemble it right, the cardboard box contains this small instruction how to apply the furling slider. It's not that bad because I actually put it on reverse first. Um, yeah, I don't read instructions, but I should. So in the Kickstarter campaign, they claimed that their spools will be 14.99 Australian dollars, which is about 10 euros here. 10 euros for 320 gram is actually a standard, I would say normal, a little bit higher price. If you uh, buy a 750 gram spool or one kilogram spool, you can get it for around 20 to 22 euros from other suppliers. So it's not a cheap material by any means. I want to check it out how it actually works, um, how are the results and wanted to print a project to check the material very thoroughly and see if it actually can deliver. Just a small side note about uh, the company, I did some research um, about the Kickstarter campaign about the new printer. Um, I didn't went into super many details just on the surface uh, just to give you an information overview so they had this kickstarter campaign it was funded successfully uh, there, obviously there are many people still waiting for the filament to deliver there are people who already received the spools and i had contact with a person from the company and they said they are quite busy shipping the kickstarter um, packages so also for me it took about one and a half months till the filament was there and we had previous to this we had two months of conversation which was very long so so much to their kickstarter campaign um, i don't know how they will proceed how the status is make your own opinion about this and there's a second issue with their new printer the Jan printer um, because these spools come with a $50 discount for the new YAN printer and I will blend in because the YAN printer uh, looks quite the same as the Kodama Obsidian printer basically it's a 100% um, match I would say and there's some discussion in the Kickstarter campaign and on the internet who uh, has really invented this one and I'm not here to judge it I just want to say there's an issue, there's, I don't know which one is the copy, which one is the original. Um, the companies should figure this out and not the people here. I'm not only here to judge the filament, alright? First of all I printed of course a 3D Banshee 
and I printed a small test print, also my distance tower print to see if there's um, any stringing. I went with 205 degrees, my standard PLA profile, because I'm thinking if you have like these small spools, um, these are for, I would say low grade users, just put it in, uh, they want a nice color print. So it should, it should be generally easy to print and it kind of is. With this new giant Benji I found, all the links in the description below, um, I saw that the details, they come out quite nice. There is stringing on the parts and after my first test prints, I reduced the temperature of the nozzle to 195 degrees, which decreased the stringing quite a lot but I couldn't erase the stringing. And as, as for my other filament review, I didn't went into further tweaking because in my opinion, I want easy to print material. So just put it in, it should be less stringing, should be good looking, nice colors. This is what I want from the print. Then I went with the yellow color, of course, I did a Banshee and this lettuce cube and also with the blue color the same. I have to say that the materials are very consistent. They are the same. Print quality wise, I can't see any differences. I printed with the same settings and the results are very, very much the same, which is quite good. You have no fluctuation in the colors. The master batch you have to use to color the material could take some influence, but apparently, in my opinion, it doesn't. So I went ahead and I'm a backer of 3D Workbench on Patreon and he made these nice files of his own armory. So these are, this is a gun he self um, invented or I have to say self designed and it's quite nice. I printed it with the blue color and the yellow color and as you can see the gun came out really really nice. I really had no no issues while printing. This is about 25 to 30 hours in total to print with all the supports and so on. I had no issues with the filament. There was no tangling of course, but well, if you're printing, it's really, really hard to tangle up your spools. The slider, it does what it says. It prevents the material from tangling up. You always have your end of the spool secured, but in my opinion, it's a little bit of overkill. It's, it's not happening for me that much that my spools are tangling up because I always just secure the end of the spool. I don't really can see the benefit of this, this thing unless you're really, really sloppy with your spools. So as I said, the prints came out quite nice. I will show you some close-up footage of these files. Um, I have to say again, Yuri is making some awesome files. I really like them. And this one I won't even color, won't even finish. I think it looks quite nice and it has kind of a special touch. So what is my conclusion about the material? Well, first of all, it's another PLA material which prints quite well. It has some stringing. The stringing is so fine you can easily burn it off with a blowtorch or something. For the price point, I would say it's quite pricey. I know why it's so pricey because if you have extra plastic part, parts um, you have to injection mold, this increases the costs. If you want to have a lot of colors, and you're not doing big print jobs, these small spools for you might also come in quite handy. I would guess they are also made for their new printer, for their young printer, it's really small format, so you have small spools, you have many colors, but um, at the price point, the quality is okay for the price, it's not very pricey, but neither is it very cheap. If the filament is available to buy, um, you cannot really do anything wrong. The colors pop out really nice. They are really glossy. The yellow one is more matte. As said, they look good. The price is okay, I would say. So you cannot do anything wrong to buy these spools. 
What I don't like about uh, the material, and I have seen this for many Chinese stuff, I would say, on their box, there is a already imprinted QC pass, which I think this shouldn't uh, be. If you QC pass or QC check anything, you have to manually or imprint the QC pass later. This looks like it has already been imprinted with the normal text, so automatic, automatically every box which is packed is QC passed. I don't know if this is really reliable. Well, I cannot really say that the quality is very bad. So this is just a small side note. In my feeling, this shouldn't be imprinted ahead. So you have no control if it's already controlled or not. So this is my impression of the filament. I hope you, you liked it. Um, go check out Yuri on Patreon, check out his files. He has another uh, pistol of his 3D workbench Armory. Armory. Check it out, check also out his other files. Um, I really love them, they look quite good and that they are easy to print and very easy to assemble. Also check out the full link tag Kickstarter about the printer. Check uh, who is in your opinion right on the Kodama or the Yan printer. Um, I don't know. We will see I think in the future if they can succeed with their spool and slider concept. If you like this video leave me a thumbs up or a subscription to my channel. If you didn't like this video, if you have any ideas about the furling company about the Kickstarter or about the files or any questions, just leave me a comment in the section below. And I want to, you guys, thank you for watching. Have a nice day and goodbye.